Hi all, today we're gonna talk about uh, Arduino. What is Arduino? And why Arduino is so popular? And what can you do with Arduino? What is Arduino? So before we talk about what is Arduino, let's see what Arduino is uh, used for. Like uh, you need a soccer ball to play uh, a game with your friends, you need a pencil to write, well, you need Arduino to control electronic stuff. And when I say electronics, uh, we can divide them into, for the Arduino world, into inputs and outputs. Input Arduino uh, devices are like sensors basically, like temperature sensor, uh, humidity sensor, uh, light sensor, infrared sensor, uh, moisture sensor, you have all kind of uh, distance sensor, you have all kind of sensors that you can control uh, with Arduino. So Arduino will read data uh, from these sensors and control them. And then based on the data read, uh, it can control outputs. So there is action that Arduino has to uh, perform after reading uh, the inputs from the sensor. And these output devices are like LEDs, for example, LCD display, buzzer, speaker, uh, relay, uh, DC motor, stepper motor, all kind of output that you can control with the uh, Arduino. So to summarize, Arduino will read inputs from sensors and based on logic and the code that you're gonna build in Arduino, you can control the uh, output devices as I mentioned before. So Arduino is made of three parts. You have hardware part that we talked about. You have uh, the uh, IDE uh, platform, what they call integrated development environment. It's a software, a free software that I will talk about it, that you can download. And the uh, Arduino code itself that uh, program and control your, uh, your hardware. So for the, uh, the Arduino uh, hardware, uh, there is a, a list, a several actually uh, uh, Arduino boards uh, on the market. Uh, just a list in few that I have here on my desk. I have an Arduino Leonardo is in one of these uh, projects. Uh, I have another one here, uh, an Arduino Mega. It's the, uh, the the largest one I have. I have um, uh, since Arduino is really an open source uh, hardware software, so uh, I have this one uh, Arduino made by or uh, Uno made by Rex Kali. Uh, I tested; uh, it's good. It's no problem. Um, I have. Uh, in one of other projects I made uh, for heart monitoring uh, uh, device, uh, I used uh, Arduino Uno. And uh, I have small ones. I have the uh, Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, this one you can see it's very small and uh, it doesn't have a USB interface. So you really to program this one, you need uh, uh, an FTDI model, model like this to connect it. You have to put uh, header pins here, and you program it with with this device. So when you need like a, a small uh, board, maybe this is the uh, the way to go using something like uh, Arduino Pro Mini. I have here also. An Arduino Nano. This one is small also, and it has uh, USB, so you can use these this USB to to program it also. Okay, so you don't need the, an interface for this one. Um, you know, uh, the one uh, we're gonna be using in the uh, in the workshop 
it's uh, it's very similar to Arduino or not. Uh, you know, it's just made by a different uh, company. I tested it, it's, uh, it works great, no, no problem with that. Uh, but since uh, the popular one is Arduino Uno, uh, I'm just gonna go over uh, briefly a uh, different part that uh, you need to know. Um, uh, so you have here, you're gonna be connected uh, your USB to program this microcontroller. Uh, before I, before I describe a little bit the uh, the part of Arduino, I want to tell you that uh, if you can program one one of these boards, you'll be able to program any board. So you really is the same software, the same functions, the same library that you you use. Um, you know, so just have fun and uh, pick uh, one that suits your project and uh, start coding. Uh, so. Um, uh, to continue with the description of uh, the Arduino Uno, um, as I have here a uh, USB to supply voltage to the uh, Arduino, you can also supply voltage to this uh, power jack. Uh, the voltage here is uh, unregulated, it goes from 7 volt to uh, 12 volt. Um, you have here a crystal uh, oscillator. This is the, uh, the clock of this uh, uh, board. As you know, uh, even human have uh, uh, a clocking system, and I think it's called uh, circadial rhythm. So that's the uh, the clock can actually regulates our sleeping and uh, certain uh, uh, function uh, function functions in our uh, system. So any device have uh, any any uh, plant or uh, being uh, have a certain uh, clock. So Arduino Uno need to have one too. Um, uh, since really we uh, you know microcontrollers are based on brain functions. You know we're trying to kind of mimic our brain, uh, even though we're far away of getting even closer to our brain uh, intelligence. Uh, but certain functions are being captured and we will talk about that okay so this side uh, let me just uh, put it here so I can zoom in and uh, show you the different pins that you have so from here you have uh, pin 0 all the way to pin 13 these are the, uh, these are called digital pins uh, or GPIO so here we have inputs and outputs and some of them you can see there is a tilde uh, like uh, pin number three pin number five six nine ten eleven means this pin they can also program uh, for input output of analog uh, signal just for example uh, you, the radio if you want to increase the volume that volume doesn't go from just uh, to state it go gradually so that's an analog signal you, you're capturing Okay, um, we have also, um, I'm just going to flip it here so you can see the other side. Uh, this side here, we have uh, inputs, analog pins, they go from A0 to A5, and this side is for power, like ground and uh, different voltages, like this one is 5 volts, 3.3 uh, volts, some uh, project uh, you might need to uh, use 3.3 volt instead of 5 volts. Uh, Vn, this is also unregulated voltage. Uh, if you don't want to use the power jack or USB, you can also supply voltage to this v, uh, Vin uh, pin. And it's uh, basically go from 7 to uh, 12 volts. And just to give you, do a test uh, about uh, these pins, um, I have here a program that I'm gonna uh, load to blink basically this uh, LED here, light emitting diode and uh, oops, and to uh, distinguish between the positive and negative. The positive is always longer and that's called the anode. And the flat side here, it's called the, the, uh, the cathode and it's shorter, okay? So we're gonna stick this one to 
pin 13 and the negative side to the ground and we're going to try to flash this LED. Okay. Why we're choosing the uh, pin 13? Because pin 13 has a resistor and we, we know to uh, not burn the LED we have to have some kind of resistor. So we're just going to go just going to put it down here so you can see what I'm doing. And as I said, um, push this little bit here. As I said, the uh, long leg is gonna go to pin 13, and so I can see from my okay. Yeah, this is 13. So long leg is on pin 13 and the other leg is in the ground. So I'm going to supply voltage using my laptop and I think I already uh, uploaded the program here which I'm going to show you later on. Uh, you should see this LED flashing. Sorry. Oop. So it flashes at a rate of 1000 milliseconds, which is like one second. 